Synthetic fuel obtained from regenerative energy has always been an intriguing option given its closed CO2 cycle. It can be used as a drop-in, directly helping to reduce CO2 emissions and in the long run replace conventional fuel altogether. Production is carried out via the well-known process of electrolysis, through which water and renewable energy are used to produce hydrogen. Using the greenhouse gas CO2 as the raw material, the hydrogen will finally be further processed into a liquid fuel. The CO2 cycle is closed. This is reason enough for Mahler to further investigate this fuel. The perfect partner is quickly found in Porsche. The test vehicle, a production series Porsche 911 GTS, tested on a chassis dynamometer with the synthetic fuel. The results were remarkable. On the test rig, the vehicle showed that it runs without a problem on the synthetic fuel. But what does the introduction of synthetic fuel mean for the Mahler products? With regards to the components, the results are indeed promising. We have shown that the so-called hard parts, by which we mean pistons, valves and bearings, have absolutely no problems with these alternative fuels or with blends of these fuels. The filters, in particular the fuel filters, have also been shown to have no problems. And the 911 test drive confirmed those results. The driver, Moritz Martini, manager engine tuning sports cars at Porsche. Does he feel any difference in the driving experience? What impressions does the synthetic fuel leave after several hours of test driving? I was definitely surprised and positively impressed. If I were to do a so-called blind test, I really wouldn't be able to tell if the car was running on synthetic or normal fuel. Synthetic fuel from wind and solar energy. A new chance for CO2 neutral mobility.